So in the last video I used a date uh, kind of show you how to do a date based validation and that's good but most of the time we're dealing with numeric fields when we want to do validation. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the date field. I'm going to add a couple more decimal fields. And I'm going to make the first two sales. Sales of burgers, sales of shakes, and total sales. So if we go into this form right now, Since these are numeric fields, we can't enter letters. We do have to enter numbers. But we pretty much can enter any number we want. We probably don't want that. So let's add a validation to the total sales. Once again, I'm going to select Form Calc as the language. And I'm going to write a very simple expression here, the sum of decimal field 1 and decimal field 2 must equal decimal field 3 or our current field. And I'll create a validation message. So let's say we sold 10 burgers and 5 shakes, and I put a 10 here. Won't let me submit until I correct, and now I can submit. So that's the sum function. Let's show how we can still enter incorrect data that will pass that validation. Like I said, you can enter a number, but basically any number. So let's say we sold negative 5 burgers and 10 shakes, giving us a total sales of 5. Hey, it worked. However, that information was incorrect. We can't sell negative numbers, at least not where I'm from. So let's add a validation to these two fields. We'll say that this field must be greater than zero. Well, actually, greater than or equal to zero. Make sure we choose form calc again. Won't do that for this one. This field is greater than or equal to zero. And let's go ahead and add a message. copy and paste that into this other one. So that still works. That's good. Put in a negative 5. Cannot have values less than 0. So we can see even though this validation now passes, this validation fails. And we can create arbitrarily complicated validations. For example, we could add another predicate and the number of sales can't be greater than 100. Did I say can't be greater or must be greater? I said they must be greater. So we won't take failure for an answer.
we get that message from before. It doesn't tell us about the new requirement, but we know it's there. So, let's say we sold 101. Now we met that requirement. And of course, you can replace the and with an or uh, if you have a case where they can meet either of the two values and then it is a uh, passing validation. So that's some of the things you can do with validation. I hope this helped.